If you're a supervillain with every bit as much passion for interior design as enslaving humanity, well, you're going to want to see this. Evil Genius 2 just dropped a bushel of new items in the Ingenious DLC pack, and we're going to investigate them. What is it now? Kids, in the olden days, there was one evil genius who stood head and padded shoulders above them all. Using mind control technology built into his preposterously big cuffed shirts, he convinced the entire UK to daub the inside of their houses in purple paint, scatter cushions and fleur-de-lis. And his name was Lawrence Llewellyn <laughs> Bowen. For years we were forced to go along with the idea that flamboyant floral patterns all over our homes were nice and good, even though they plainly looked horrible. But like all evil geniuses, he was eventually forced into hiding onto the world stage. Or was he? Because here is the ingenious pack for Evil Genius 2, which adds loads of new items for your lair and once again invites the global tyrant-in-waiting to carefully consider the look of their surroundings. Yes, season pass owners will surely be changing rooms with this bevy of new furnishings, decorations and functional items. So let's dive into them. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell ding ding to get new videos from us the very second we release them. And if you're not new here, well hey thanks for the sub. You can show your support by leaving us a thumbs up if you like. Now let's get Bowen. Going, sorry, going. Before this glorious bundle of knickknacks, doodads and puncho bots, we'll get to those, landed in our laps, it's fair to say that the armory was one of the, hmm, <clears throat> cosier rooms in the lair. Certain ungrateful henchmen might meet up together ahead of the weekly staff meeting and plan to tell you it's too cramped in there, and that I need to stop pretending it's for team building purposes, but what do they know? Besides, it brought them all together, didn't it? As part of the Ingenious DLC, we have four new items for our armory, so you may want to dust off those Lair Builder 5000s and knock through a few walls, because we're going to need some serious space to fit in our brand new security checkpoint, which can help to uncover any agents trying to pull a fast one in a yellow jumpsuit. Then there's the Melee Trainer, which allows your minions to improve their melee damage and work out any of that pent-up aggression from the weekly staff meetings. The practice range which improves range damage or, if you're this muscular chap, it's just a chance to show off. And finally, the Agent Disguise Simulator to study up on potential disguises. Or you can save yourself a couple of quid and do what I do. Trust no one. I want that intruder found and killed. Unlike the famed band fronted by warrior poet Jim Morrison, the doors in this pack won't incite a riot or swear on national telly, but they might light your fire. Each genius now has their own style of inner sanctum door, and as you can see they're all delighted to have their personalities neatly encapsulated by a plank of wood on a hinge. Cheer up you lot, just think of the extra gravitas you'll convey when random minions are summoned through these doorways for a very stern telling off. Labs. Prisons and vaults also now have their own bespoke doors too, so there's really no buying that old scientist excuse of, oh, I got lost on the way back from the canteen. Look at it, Roger. It couldn't be more science labby. Corridors aren't missing out on the gifts either. You can now install 360 degree cameras that spy a full radius around their position and worker stations that summon basic minions to set positions when you hit the red alert button. Everyone, stay alert. We've mentioned on the channel before that minions don't have the easiest time when it comes to getting a good night's sleep. If you struggle to sleep on a plane, or when it's a bit too hot, or when you can hear the boiler going two rooms away, how do you think you'd get on in a communal bunk bed arrangement inside a hollowed out mountain with a nuclear warhead at its centre? Yes, exactly. It's about time this lot got some better shut eye then. And like a podcast advert, the ingenious pack brings a bonanza of new bed options. Here we can see the worker bed, the muscle bed, the deception bed and the science bed, each painstakingly crafted for the needs of their specific minion. Ah, oh, look at them. Tuck it out from all the crimes, bless them. Over in the staff room, this new puncho bot should keep those enjoying a bit of downtime entertained too. But so far the real hit of my lair is the true crime documentaries watching station over in the archive. Look at them. Can't get enough of other people's misery. Really makes me proud. Joining that new item in the archive is this further education contraption, which immerses minions in a complete 360 degree sphere of information, discombobulating them into utter subservience. 
That's right, in you go. What, too fancy for you? Think you can break out, eh? Well, we'll just see about that. For those of you who, um, let's say only feel safest when those pesky FOJ warriors are truly behind bars, or in some cases lasers, then boy do we have the answer for you. The Ingenious DLC offers your prison some rather punishing upgrades for you to enjoy. I mean, it's a prison. Punishment is kind of what it embodies. Starting off, we have an upgrade to the Holding Cell, poignantly called the Secure Holding Cell. This box of fun comes with all the bells and whistles of its original incarnation, but also features a handy surveillance camera should an inhabitant attempt to break free, as well as laser bars not just on the front, but also the top and sides, just to hammer home the sense of security that lasers naturally provide. Truly a captured investigator's worst nightmare. Or is it? Because if your goal is not just to secure your enemy, but also break their resolve, then look no further than the unpleasant holding cell. This little cube of confinement comes complete with overly bright fluorescent lighting to help induce those lovely migraines, no mattresses or pillow for those extra tough sleepless nights, oh, and um, a bucket for one's uh, business. Truly unpleasant. At least this poor investigator can admire the view of the other inmates. Sorry Minion, I just needed someone to test it out, I'll let you out soon, promise. As well as my choice of cacti on display. The cell may be unpleasant, but my floral choices certainly don't have to be. An agent has been captured. Next up we have the beating heart of every evil lair. No, not the inner sanctum. No, not the engine room. Okay, in what world is the mess hall the beating- <laughs> no, sorry. I'm talking, of course, about the control room. And trust me when I say we have a real array of items here. Eh? Okay, I've just realised that joke only really works when you know the names of the items. So introducing the communication array. Aside from adding one broadcast strength to your evil operation, the communication array will help your minions increase the income from the multitude of immoral machinations they're carrying out. Then we have the advanced computer, or as I like to call it, the big boy. This supercomputer will help your minions to generate intel, which as we all know is crucial to help your global operations out on the world stage. Ah, uh, would you look at that. It's been 10 seconds since it materialised out of a Lair Builder 5000, and already my minions are using it as a headphone rack. Don't think I can't see you over there, Trevor. Emergency, paging Dr. Zalika. Oh, uh, what's that? She's too busy. And she's not a doctor. Well, that's probably for the best. After all, she's got an entire criminal empire to run, right? Goodness knows what her bedside manner would be like. Another experiment requires my attention. If your loyal minions encounter a few scrapes and boo-boos during their shifts protecting your base from incoming FOJ attacks, then fear not. The ingenious DLC additions to your infirmary have got you covered. In one case, literally covered, in green goo? Hmm. Rejuvenation Chamber is our first new item for your minions to enjoy, living up exactly to its namesake. A minion who is running low on vitality can enjoy a temporary boost by being sprayed head to toe in... <laughs> vitamins? Do vitamins always look so... gooey? Hmm, well, doctor knows best. And if this vitality boost to your minions just isn't quite enough for your liking, then why not force them to make an appointment with the Scanotron here? This medical device will bombard... <laughs> bombard? Is that... is that safe? It is. Oh, mm, okay, sure. With what is described as friendly radiation. D did you say friendly? Right, okay. Which allows them to mutate... <laughs> mutate? Ser seriously guys, is this safe? and enjoy regenerating vitality for a short time. After reading that out aloud, I think I'll stick with paracetamol. You know what? I don't think I spotted a single Fleur de Lis in there. I think we might be safe after all. The Ingenious Pack is available now for Evil Genius 2, along with the Cabal Pack, which adds a new Crime Lord and new Lair items. There's plenty more to come to, so keep your minions at those comms arrays gathering intel. Or just subscribe to us. That'll do it too, and we won't drain your signal strength. Until next time, supervillains of the world, remember that plum is never an acceptable colour for living room walls. <laughs>